Joe Chiani, Joe, great to have you back. Are you surprised it's come to this? No, but it's great to be back on your show. <laughs> okay, so what comes next? Well, I think the world now knows we are the rightful creator and inventor of this technology. So hopefully we will get our chance to give the public a truly continuous pulse oximeter watch that they can rely upon that just got FDA approval. Now, when I saw this news, I, I thought, well, maybe Apple is pulling this early to get people's attention so that they start asking the administration, hey, what's going on? Can you get those Apple watches back on shelves? D do you think that there's any of that to this or just, just take a while in the supply chain, in retail stores to pull those things off? You know, I hate to guess what people are thinking, but it's so funny that you thought that too. That's the first thought that went through my head. Uh, knowing that the Biden administration is unlikely to intervene. I think this was their last-ditch effort to see if they could get the public somehow mad at uh, the Biden administration to get them to intervene. Has there been any yeah, conversation so <laughs> between you and Apple uh, since you and I last talked? No. In fact, on your show, despite the fact that I don't care much about the Apple leadership, given what I know and how they run the company, uh, I still extended the olive branch and offered to work with them for the betterment of people and our mutual shareholders, and uh, not even a call. Okay. How soon can you get your product on the market? Well, we're already in the market with this product called the W1, which I think you've seen before. And uh, we're actually in the pre-market release phase of this product, which is actually a full smartwatch that has all of the texting, messaging, phone calls, everything. And hopefully that'll come out beginning of 2024. Okay, well, you say beginning of 2024. That's what I was trying to get a little bit more detail on. See if you can give me some more detail. Is that first quarter? Is that January, February? Well, given that we want to make sure customers are elated with our products, we don't launch anything until it's been through two other steps, what we call a pre-market release, which is a, a number probably about 100 people that will be evaluating this to give us their feedback, and then a limited market release with paying customers that will give us feedback. Assuming all is smooth, then we go to full market release. So if we're lucky, there will be no negative feedback on the PMR and the LMR, and we'll go to full market release in Q1. Uh, how broadly, once you are prepared to release this widely, do you expect to get this distributed? I mean, there's not that much of a smartwatch market outside of Apple Watch. Google's done a few things, of course. Um, you know, Samsung's done a few things. Well, worldwide, we bought Sound United, a company that owned Bowers & Wilkins, Marantz & Denon. These are 100-year-old-plus companies in the audio business. They have 20,000 distribution points around the world. So we intend to use that channel to get this widely out there. And John, a third of the market that buys smartwatches have chronic illnesses. They need a serious product. We're the only company that has a continuous and accurate pulse oximeter that catches true hypoxemias and issues before it's too late. So we're hoping once this product is out in our channel, given hopefully people's uh, true interest of getting a serious product, uh, we will make a uh, significant inroad in the market. And I guess we'll see if Apple calls you and uh, how long after Thursday these top models of Apple Watches stay off the market.